Hello and welcome to Little Sue. So I'm coming on today because I received another entry in the post and this is from the artsy grandma who is Aisha. Um, she's here on YouTube and I will link her channel down in the description box below. If you're not already subscribed to her, please go over and subscribe to her. So she has, I have opened it and taken it out and just had a wee look at the card. But um, if I can show you, she's put this on the envelope, which is so cool. I love that. That's just using up scraps and she's made an image on the envelope with it. Now, this is our card and I love this card. So we've got hello here and gold glitter with you're beautiful. And then she's used all these sort of die cut scraps. So this is like the scalloped edge off of a die and it just looks like a die cut explosion. I love this idea. So thank you so much. Now, I'm not sure where these die cuts came from because they were just lying inside the envelope. So I've just tucked them in here just now. But Aisha's gifted me some beautiful dies, die cuts here. And it's all like leaves and foliage. Look at them. It just says, so congratulations, two years on YouTube is no mean feat. I hope you like the enclosed items I've made for you and wishing you lots of good luck in growing your channel further. Happy crafting, Aisha, the artsy grandma. So, like I said, I'm not sure where these came from, Aisha. I'm hoping that they were in this. They were meant to be in this envelope. Um, but yeah, they were just lying all over the the big envelope and I've just tucked them in there to keep them safe now I haven't opened this but she's got her sign here handmade with love by the artsy grandma and we love that sign and she's got it tied on here with some baker's twine Or hessian twine, I think that is. But look at the envelope. <laughs> Just looks like another exploding envelope. Love this. Oh, she's also got her sticker on the back here as well. And inside here. Wow. It's filled with lots and lots of goodies oh so she's made a paper clip here with love a tag but it's like using a um cardboard box that's what it is now i've seen quite a few people have that idea and that looks like a chocolate wrapper and some beautiful lace trim there. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Beautiful pink lace trim there. Never thought to put chocolate wrapper onto. I like that idea. She's made it into a lovely paper clip. And then we've got another one here. It says moments and places. Oh, this is nice. I really like how you've made these. Sort of has got the arty maze type feel to them. Because arty maze loved you. <laughs> lots and lots of different packaging ideas to make stuff. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's a gold one. Like that. I will put that into the card. And then she's put her, so this is her YouTube channel, her Instagram and her email address. Oh, and she's got her address on the back, so I won't show that. But this is 
the artsy grandma i will link her channel down in the description box below like i said now in here oh so she's made me up this flower oh there's two, there's three bags attached to this oh i like that i'll open that up in a minute and then she's done another bag as well and this one's got two in it so we've got so this is on foam tape and i don't want to pull it off in case it's supposed to be on there but she's made this one it says my happy little life it's like a weird shape and I think you're supposed to lift it up and be able to put writing in it. So I'm going to leave that on there just now until I actually move this stuff into the journal. She's done this tag. Oh, and it's two tags in one. And yet again, she's used like the chocolate wrapper here. We've got this beautiful tag and then this tag which has got the um it looks like a cut out flower and then she's used the negative space. I do really like these ideas that you've really really getting inspired to you. See I'd have just a bin that square. So thank you for giving me ideas on how to use negative space. And she had them both inside here. And she's decorated this up as well. And then we've got another one, which I think is attached. Right here. It just flips up. So you could write something underneath it. And then just fold it back down. Nobody would know what was there. Really, really like them. So, so far, you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So that's 40 points. Just with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pause the camera and take the little staples out of these so that I can open this up. We can have a look and see what's inside here. I'm just going to move this off to the side to give us some room. Okay, so that's me got the bag toppers off. They are so pretty. I will definitely be reusing those ones. Oh. Lost a little flower there, it fell out. So she's gifted me three bags in this one. And this one, she's made up this beautiful flower for me. And I think that's just one flower. She's layered up quite a few times. Got gold leaves coming off it as well. So that will be going into the main because she's already made this one up. It will be going inside my journal. I love the gold on it. It's beautiful. And then inside these little bags, she sent me some die cuts. Some more die cuts that I can use. Exciting. So we've got this one here. Now this looks like she's done it with a pair of scissors that have this edging on it. And we've got some beautiful flowers. She's gifted me some bling. And these are just gorgeous little stars in the pink and the red. The red I will be keeping for Christmas. The pink ones, I'm probably going to have to hide from Sarah. 
Sarah has been using an awful lot of my bling recently. We've got this border here. We've got another rectangle for layering up. That will look really nice. She's die cut me a few of these rectangles. Some more flower punches. Oh, look at all these flowers. Oh, that's so pretty. That's very delicate. It looks like a fan. So I'm going to pause you just now and put all these out and count them so that I know how many you've got. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've also pulled out the second bag and she's added in some more of these beautiful bling stars. And then I am in love with this paper. It is a yellow paper with big white polka dots and little sort of orangey browny coloured polka dots. Makes beautiful flowers out of them. And she's gifted me an array of bows, flowers, leaves and both sets of them. So thank you so, so much for them. Amazing collection of die cuts there. And then she's also gifted me these two packages. I didn't notice that. We've got an S here. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's lovely. It is like delicate die cut so it is I haven't seen a die cut like that before you'll need to tell me where you got that one that's beautiful and I've got some little cards here <gasps> spells out my name <laughs> get that so we've got the S the U and the E. Oh, I'm not in frame there. So, the S, the U, and the E. That is, that's amazing. I love that. I would never have thought of doing it that way. And then in this one, she's made another beautiful tag. And look at the sprigs coming off of this. I love that pink as well. So that is uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 points. Okay, so I've just got to work out how much points you have. Um, so, 104, 105, 106. You have 106 points into my two years on YouTube giveaway. So, thank you so, so much, Aisha. Um, I can't wait to play with us, basically. <laughs> Pick somewhere really nice. Because I'm thinking it's going to go really, really nice on a page with a slight bluish colour to it. I still love this one. Thank you so, so much for these. This is absolutely amazing. Um, please go over and check out Aisha's channel. She has the Artsy Grandma here on YouTube. Uh, she does make videos regularly. Uh, and she's actually doing a challenge herself. But you'll need to go over and check out her video for that one. So thank you everyone for watching thank you Aisha for taking part in my challenge you have 106 points congratulations and <laughs> that is amazing and good luck and I will see you all again soon bye for now